All right, this is kind of a crazy story, and I love it. Uh, Jeff Gordon, the NASCAR legend and four-time Winston Cup champion, got a lot closer than you might realize to quitting NASCAR at the peak of his career to try his hand at Formula One, which I, I don't think there are two more different road racing cars than a Formula One car and a NASCAR stock car. It's literally a symphony and cannibal corpse. The story starts in 1998, when the young buck Jeff Gordon is just reaching his peak. He had just won his second Winston Cup championship when a new Formula One team was forming called BAR, British American Racing. And BAR wanted an American racing driver. Jeff Gordon, the Wonder Boy, was on their shortlist. And Jeff Gordon and BAR had conversations that got serious enough to include the F1 puppet master, Bernie Ecclestone. Ultimately, Jeff Gordon decided to pass on that opportunity it was just too big of a career risk at that point. <laughs> Fast forward five years, and a more stately, better established Jeff Gordon is part of a TV show for the Speed Channel called Trade and Paint, where he switches seats with the Williams Formula One driver Juan Pablo Montoya, and they drive each other's cars around the Indy Road Course. At the time, the USGP for Formula One was held at the Indy Road Course, and then NASCAR ran the Brickyard 400 on their oval. And Jeff Gordon went ham that day he only did seven laps in the fw24 but in those seven laps he ended up matching juan pablo montoya's lap times and with the engine mode turned down and no setup changes made to the car to accommodate jeff gordon's driving style he was only about a second off of that year's formula one qualifying pace which we all know how much extra pace formula one cars have for the qualifying run so i think it's a safe assumption that jeff gordon would have been competitive fresh out of the box which would have been like if Michael Jordan had hit 43 home runs his rookie season with the White Sox. And later that year, at the Formula One race in Indy, he was there as a fan and he ended up having conversations with the owner of Williams Racing, Frank Williams. And Frank Williams was very receptive to the possibility of Jeff Gordon coming over to Formula One and joining Williams Racing. But again, Jeff Gordon passed. I mean... The brutal truth was he was 31 years old at the time, and as talented of a driver as he is, he knew that it was just too steep of a hill for him to climb to try to switch disciplines and win a Formula One championship. Other teams also noticed what he had done on that day for that TV show, and the following year, he was on vacation in Barcelona, and I'm sure totally coincidentally, the Spanish GP was happening at the same time, so he went there as a fan, and again, I'm sure... Total coincidence, he found himself in the company of some representatives of the Jaguar Formula One team, which just happened to be owned by a small American motor company called Ford. And those Jaguar reps definitely felt out his level of interest in coming over to Formula One and, and bringing maybe a few of his tens of millions of dollars in sponsorship money. Again, nothing came of it, and I completely understand. I mean, Jeff Gordon was... Uh, uh, at that point, a, a living legend in NASCAR. And he was like that all-American stud who had married his high school sweetheart that was NASCAR. And yeah, sure. Okay, I get it. If you end up running into like the European vixen that is F1, you, you're going to flirt a little bit. I understand that. But you're never going to leave that first love of your life that's treated you so well for so many years. However, uh, just this past year on the podcast Beyond the Grid, which is excellent, by the way, I highly recommend it, he was asked if he had ever really considered joining a Formula One team. And he said, who wouldn't have loved that? I would have loved that had the right opportunity come along. And I think we all need to take a minute and just fantasize about how amazing it would have been had that right opportunity come along for Jeff Gordon and we had some of that good old blue-blooded American flair in a Formula One paddock. Uh-oh. Well, we've got a fight breaking out. Yeah, Jeff's not happy. Jeff, Jeff Gordon not happy with that, what happened there. And he's just, he's just a dipshit, you know? I mean, the way he races, I don't know how he's ever won a championship, and I'm just sick and tired. I mean, that's why everybody's fighting him and running.